In just a few days from now, a movie is slated to release called Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It stars Vivek Oberoi, who plays who else? Narendra Modi himself. And it is being called a biopic of India's Prime Minister. Well, as you can expect, a massive political controversy and fight has exploded over the release of this so-called biopic based on the life of Narendra Modi just days before the Lok Sabha election. After the DMK and the Congress, another petition has been filed against the film by the Republican Party of India in the Bombay High Court. The petition claims that the movie is propaganda to gain and influence votes as the Prime Minister himself is a candidate in these general elections. It's a violation of the code of conduct, say these petitions. The Congress had moved the Election Commission yesterday alleging that the film is pure political propaganda and it must be regulated. The Congress claimed that the film violates Section 126 of the RP Act of 1951 that prohibits displaying any election matter by means of television during the election. While the BJP has backed the film, the opposition has claimed that the film cannot be released when the model code of conduct is in place. The Congress also claims that the film is the BJP's project and that the filmmaker and the actors are benefiting directly from Prime Minister Modi and the BJP. Well, uh, the Election Commission has seized the matter. In uh, a normal situation, uh, when uh, uh, if the model code of conduct wouldn't have been enforced, uh, if the Prime Minister wouldn't have been running for a second term, I don't think if anybody would have had a problem with it. Uh, the reason uh, people have gone to the Election Commission, including the Congress Party, is because it obviously has political connotations. Well, television influences voters. So celluloid can also influence voters. Both are a part of free speech. An article is a part of free speech. A video film can be shown, but not otherwise. But I'd like to understand uh, this self-created limitation on free speech today. See, Arun Jaitley's certificate will not save the Prime Minister. Biopic is an intelligent way of doing the, uh, you know, misusing the PM office, uh, violating the model code. And it is very clear, it is only common sense to find that it is a violation of the common code. I think this is a right case where the election commission has to act. जो बयान हैं कोई नया कर रहे हैं कोई नया ऐसा कर रहे हैं जिससे वोटर प्रभावित हो सकता है पर सारी सिनेमा को ही बंद कर देंगे ये कैसा हो सकता है अब उनको इच्छा होगी there are guidelines which every political party is supposed to follow and democracy ha gives the right to the voter to decide by trying to influence them through producing movies through uh, using your government uh, you know position to put your own hoardings through uh, you know at every petrol pump at every petrol station and also using the boarding cards to promote yourself is not how democracy works and it is not giving equal advantage to all political parties to best present their point of view. The election commission must ensure free and fair elections. The election commission should see level playing field available to all the political parties. Now model code of conduct is in operation. How a bio picture on the current Prime Minister Narendra Modi can be produced and released at this point of time. Well, India Today also spoke to the producer of this particular film, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has rubbished the opposition claims that the BJP was supporting this biopic. He also added that he hasn't reached out to Prime Minister Modi and claimed that the Prime Minister was aware about the film. He also clarified on why the release of the film was moved up from April 12th to April the 5th. Take a look. This is the producer of the film that the BJP, the DMK and others want banned. I think uh, when you know about the film, I think everybody knows about the film. And uh, I'm sure he also must be knowing that there is a film on him because there are yeah. so many books on him, Man Ki Baat and uh, every news channel speak to him. So I'm sure he, he knows everything. And uh, if he 
would like to watch the film we will be very honored mm. i'm sure he has he's very busy and he has to, uh, no time and he will be doing something for the nation for two hours then watching a film okay. All right, I want to bring in India today's uh, Polomi Saha, who covers the BJP for us. She's with us live. Uh, Polomi, you know, Arun Jaitley went out on a limb today when he was asked a question about this. He said that it was a, a freedom of expression issue, uh, you know, which, which can be easily interpreted as a pretty categorical endorsement or defense of this particular film and the time it, in which it is actually coming out. Is that the BJP's stated position from what you're hearing, that they've they will, you know, forget about not commenting, but they will defend this film's release? Well, uh, yes, uh, Arun Jaitley has basically enunciated the party's uh, position that the party is uh, going to defend uh, the release of the film. Mm. That uh, Mr. Jaitley has basically said that, you know, uh, many other things come under the ambit of freedom of expression. If you do not uh, object to what is appearing on television or news channels, what appears in an op-ed piece in terms of an article, uh, which could uh, be seen as endorsement of one ideology or the other, one party or the other, then why is it that you're objecting to a feature film which is uh, talking about uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and chronicles his, uh, you know, uh, growth from uh, uh, very humble beginnings uh, to, of course, occupying the highest office on Raisina Hill. So why exactly is that objection uh, being made right now? But the opposition stance is that the timing of this film is absolutely suspect. Nobody is objecting to the fact that there is a film which is a biography of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his rise uh, to uh, becoming the Prime Minister of India. But the fact is that why is this film, which is being seen by the opposition yes. as propaganda, material which endorses uh, an individual who is a candidate in these elections why is it that it is being released at a time uh, when the model code of conduct has been uh, brought into effect yes. uh, as soon as the elections were announced it releases on April 5th just a few days before the first phase of election so the ball now is in the Election Commission of India's court the ball is now in the Election Commission of India's court. The Republican Party of India, in fact, has even approached the Bombay High Court, uh, you know, earlier today, uh, asking for uh, it to step in and take action against uh, uh, this film's uh, release date on April the 5th. Polomi, thank you very much for that. Uh, I also have with me Tuheen Sinha, who's an author and member of the BJP, and Mohammed Khan uh, of the Congress Party. Welcome, gentlemen. Uh, Tuheen, to you first. Yeah, you know, Devendra Fadnavis, the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, released the, I think, the initial look or the poster of the film. Uh, you know, Amit Shah has been associated with some events of this film. Today, you had Arun Jaitley himself come out and say, uh, you know, when he was asked a question, he said this was a, a freedom of expression issue and he didn't see why, uh, you know, anyone needed to have a problem with the release date of this particular film. Uh, I'm, I'm asking, this is not a loaded question. I'm simply asking because this is what the opposition is saying. They say that this is a pure propaganda, BJP bankrolled film. Keeping those specifics aside, is the BJP categorically endorsing this film now directly? Well, let me put it this way. The BJP would defend the release of the movie because at the end of the day, it's a biopic. And a biopic is an equivalent, uh, you know, the audiovisual equivalent of a, a biography. Mm. So uh, how can you call it uh, a propaganda or how can you uh, call it rhetoric? It's based on real facts. And at the end of the day, the BJP is not the producer. The BJP has nothing with the production house. The, it was produced by an, in, by an independent producer and the, the timing uh, of the release is entirely you know, be, uh, dependent upon commercial factors which, which uh, the production house has to factor in. No, but, but you know, he, if you, just one more point, yeah. if you remember, there was another movie by the name of My Name is Raga, which was supposed to release. Now, if that producer did not have the resources, if that producer did not have, uh, you know, just fizzled out, are we to blame for that? No, no, I, I understand what you're saying. Yes, we've seen the trailer of My Name is Raga as well and we'll put those images on air. My simple question to you is this, you know, given that you had people, you know, the stalwarts of the BJP who have been seen with the producers or there at the events, you had Arun Jaitley even categorically defend the film today. I'm saying that, is it not a subject of discomfort that the film is being released right before the elections where it will draw criticism for being propaganda? The timing is the issue here. Nobody would say anything if it was released after the elections. 
as I mentioned, the, the timing of the release is dependent upon a whole lot of commercial factors, which, uh, which uh, the production house, being a, you know, it being a commercial venture, the production house has to take a call on. Okay. Now, when you say why our leaders were seen at the release function, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, you get called for book releases, mm. so, you know, to release a trailer, I don't see any, any uh, problem in that. Okay. Okay, you're saying that there's no problem in it. Uh, there has been a categorical uh, defense of this particular film. Mohammed Khan, the Congress has approached the Election Commission. The DMK has done so as well. Uh, yeah, you know, sure. one party has also approached the, uh, the yeah. Bombay High Court uh, earlier today. Uh, you know, the, the, the reason I'm asking this question, Mohammed, is because, you know, we live yeah. in a time where, where you're seeing films of all kinds all over the place. You know, no matter where you look on social media from both sides, you're seeing all kinds of films. So is this a principled sure. issue for the Congress party that you're taking on this film? Sure. Okay, sure. Let me answer your question based on facts. First of all, it is our considered legal opinion that not only is this movie a laughably transparent piece of propaganda, it has been done at the behest of the BJP itself. But don't take my word for it. Let's go over the four producers. And this is what we presented to the Election Commission. Hmm. Let's take the producer who you had on your channel, Sandeep Singh. Mr. Sandeep Singh has been the beneficiary of a 170 uh, crore rupee contract, 177 crore rupee contract, not contract, MOU in vibrant Gujarat. But let's forget that. Let's talk about the fact that uh, Suresh Obroy, one of the other producers, is a card-carrying member of the BJP, a proud card-carrying member of the BJP since 2004, a matter of public record. Let's talk about the third producer, Mr. Anand Pandit. Mr. Pandit has been a high-ranking member of the commerce cell of the BJP and was affiliated with them, again very, very proudly, over the course of the last five years. And then let's come to the fourth gentleman, Mr. Okay. Manish Acharya, who leaves nothing to the imagination. You need only visit his Facebook page, where he's put up all the press items where he claims himself to be a pr uh, key member hmm. of Prime Minister Modi's team. Now, three of these people have direct links to the BJP. They're proud members. The fourth person has received, has been a participant in Vibrant Gujarat and has signed an MOU for 177 crores hmm. in the state hmm. of Gujarat. Now, the question is, let's do this one side. Then, second thing, when, as you rightly pointed out, Mr. Devendra Fadnavis launches the first poster. Who is set to launch the second poster? Mr. Amit Shah, the party president of the BJP, leaving nothing to imagination, is announced to be the person launching the second poster. The director is on record saying that this is probably the fastest movie ever made. And hmm. then someone asked him, why the rush? Okay. Why are you releasing it so, in election times? To him, then he gives what is, in my opinion, a defensive answer saying some people release to it him, at ease, To him, some would you like to answer Gwani. that? Because, because, it at because yeah. you're saying that the BJP yeah. has nothing to, to do with the, the commercial here. considerations here. But what the Congress uh, and Mohammed Khan are saying is all of these people have you know, links that are not tenuous. Some of them, some of these people have so, direct links with the yeah. BJP or have been beneficiaries of the BJP's largesse in the past. Answer that because that's a, See, that's a very direct people, allegation. None of the people who are involved with the making of the movie hold an official position in the BJP. As individual citizens, they have a right to profess uh, a political ideology of their choice. Hmm. Now, they are, at the end of the day, they are businessmen they, and, and this movie is a commercial venture. Okay, now, you know, the credentials of these people, if you look at the credentials of people who have made this movie, the same producer had made, the same producer had produced Sarabjit, the same producer had produced Mariko. Who, who was the one producing uh, Rahul Gandhi's uh, My Name is Radha? Somebody who has pr produced shady adult movies. So that is the difference between, you know, somebody who wants to attempt Modiji's movie okay. and somebody who wants Rahul Gandhi's so, movie. No, no, but, but, but uh, Mohammed, before I go to Priya Malik, and I want to introduce Priya Malik, she's an actor as well, and we're happy I to have her on the show as well. But debate, yeah. Mohammed, uh, what would you yeah. say about that? You know, the, I, we ha some of us have seen the trailer yeah. of this movie called My Name is Raga. The BJP says there's not enough money to put it out before the elections, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. It, it seemed like satire to me. But can you throw some light on this? Is this some kind of biopic of Rahul Gandhi? No, Shiv, frankly, I have absolutely no idea. But the truth is, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. The laws apply to all of us. And it surprised me no end when Mr. Arun Jaitley said freedom of expression. Of course, freedom of expression is paramount. But we are conducting elections in the world's largest democracy. Yeah. The integrity of the electoral process has to be maintained. Uh, this fellow from the BJP seems to be unnerved with this release. We are saying don't ban it. By all means, celebrate it. 
watch the movie once it comes out after the elections hmm. your desperation to bring it out at this particular time fools no one you cannot masquerade a piece of political propaganda as artistic expression and then say oh we have a constitutional right okay so of course you have a constitutional right but you have no constitutional right to interfere in the conduct of our elections okay so 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 the congress says that this is pure election propaganda the bjp says these are commercial considerations up to the filmmakers and we are no one to judge that i want to bring in priya malik to see what she thinks she belongs to the industry she's an actor priya where would you stand on this i mean you know it's a familiar issue you know this is a film that's called prime minister narendra modi it doesn't make any bones about being about the prime minister it's obviously a very political film mm. it's a biopic coming out just days before the election the congress says hata do isko this is pure propaganda the bjp says are it's freedom of expression why can't we have a movie what do you think postpone kar do at the at the end of the day uh, propaganda is any information that is trying to appear that is biased and is trying to influence public opinion hmm. in my view i've seen the trailer it's a complete glorification of the prime minister and hmm. it comes with the tagline based on true facts if it was really based on true facts why are we not talking about demonetization yeah. why are we not talking about the rafale deal why are we not talking about the lynchings that have happened in the last few years of the current ruling party's um, governance why are we not talking about what is happening with the dalits and the minorities hmm. why are we not talking about the growing rate of militancy in kashmir if it is really a, bi a biopic which uh, which is not biased then it should also talk about what went wrong okay. and the trailer does none of that it is clear propaganda i am neither affiliated to congress nor the bjp nor any political party but as an informed citizen hmm. i can see it that it is glorifying the prime minister okay. now i don't have a problem with freedom of speech i have a problem with the timing of the release of this movie okay. this is not fair this is not the code of conduct that the election commission should allow okay so th that's a very sharp point being made by a person who's not doesn't belong to the bjp or the congress she just belongs to the industry to win you know you must address the bjp must address uh, you know the, the 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 concerns of not you know the, you may you can you can ignore what the congress says because they are the opposition etc etc but people like priya malik have views which many people might share saying ke are ye to kuch hi din you know just a few days before the election so she, the timing is going to be an issue that a lot of people suspect to him the she is entitled to her views but the fact that she should tell the producer what should be in the movie and what should not that by itself is an attack on freedom of expression let the election commission decide on that we believe that uh, this is a commercial venture this is something which is a you know like a like a bi biography it's it's something which is which has nothing to do with propaganda and should, it should it should have a proper release No, you know. If on the other hand, let me also make a point. Why, let me make a point. But why, to him, Priya why, says, "What about all the negative stuff? It It's all about the to, positive to stuff." To hold the movie off. Why, why? If it is really that you should ask the producer, then why that not? You should ask the producer. Then why not post election? That I you think our current producer. media is entirely controlled See, the fact is, by the government. The, I am not representing the industry. I am representing no, no, the government. No, no, I have answered your question. But like coming to the Congress watching, allegation, the Congress had the happening. Congress has had problems with multiple movies, in, including a it movie has, based on their own regime Both sides called Hindu Sarkar. No, no, Congress has right. always had problems with uh, movies, whether it was Hindu Sarkar, whether it was Gandhi, whether it was this, you know uh, Mahesh Sultanpuri's lyrics. This is not as much of a Congress no, no, so versus BJP you, issue as much as it is an issue of unfair elections. You are Let talking the about decide information that. that is going to influence our voters you are talking about cinema you're talking about bollywood which actually influences our voters we are talking about the biggest elections in the world we are talking about a democracy we are talking about bias we are talking you about propaganda you made your point let the election commission decide that. that our view is very clear it's not propaganda any any you know any bi biography or any biopic in, in a cinematic medium would have some amount of mount thing to to ensure commercial returns that's about it it's not you, rhetoric it's you, not propaganda okay, it's okay. based on real so events want, which is what see that if which there was a film right least, now at least at least trust the, the credibility of the producer what is that what is that unemployment do you think the, the bjp people who have called it propaganda no, no, like i said the producer the producer has a proven has proven credibility has produced other successful biopics like marikom and uh, sarabjit 
So I don't think you need to tell him what you should constitute in the what should be in the movie and what should Mohammed, not be. Yeah, Mary Com, yeah. Mary, Mary Com and Sarabjit were not the Shiv. governing prime ministers. I've seen the trailer and I'm appalled. Okay, so Mohammed, and I would have the felt movie. the same way if there was a Congress leader. I would have felt the exact same. No, no, because way. I just so want to make a quick point here. Also. I just want to make a quick point here because you know, uh, because somebody somebody mentioned Hindu Sarkar. You sure. know, when we're talking about the freedom of expression issue, Priya, you know, like you said, neither mm. the Congress or the BJP have ever you know covered themselves in glory. Both parties have had problems yeah. with films when it has affected their leaders, etc. But I think the exactly. point that Priya makes here no, is no, an important one Hindu because we're talking, we're talking about the election process. We're talking about the election process. That's why it's important. We this is not just about, about the model code of conduct. We are talking about we are talking about how the yeah. country functions. This has nothing to do with anti BJP or pro Congress or pro uh, BJP Shib, or anti Congress. This is yeah, to, we are yeah. talking about being able to commence fair elections for our citizens. Shiv, can I come in? Mohammed, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Shiv, let me paint a picture for you and your viewers. Now imagine if this sort of political propaganda is allowed, then tomorrow. You, I or any other candidate who is fighting an election will film a documentary on our lives and we will screen it. We will screen it across the country and we will say that uh, and especially in our constituencies and say oh my god this is a freedom of expression and this is me expressing my great affiliation and liking for this candidate. It will set a terrible precedent shift because 48 hours before polling you cannot campaign. But if this movie is running in theatres the BJP has managed to undo the laws. It has managed to subvert the laws. And let me also say one more thing. The, do not classify us with these people. When Hindu Sarkar came out, we issued an official statement. We believe in the freedom of speech. We did not, in fact, the few people who protested, we rebuked them and said that the memories of our leaders okay. stand far greater than can be diminished by movies I like just, this. Okay. So please, don't classify us with these people. This is a self-serving tactic according to us. I just want to ask Priya Malik, you know, Priya, uh, uh, the, uh, Given that this film is going to be released on April the 5th, it was supposed to be released on April the 12th. Now it, it's going to come out six days before the first phase of the election comes out. You know, your point is well taken about the timing. I think that's something that many of us will share. Uh, you yeah. know, even if the BJP says it, you can leave that to the producers, etc., etc. My question is a larger one. Uh, at this time, if we if we just for a moment, Priya, keep these rules aside. I know we can't, but I'm just saying, assuming we keep all these election commission code of conduct rules, etc., aside. I am simply asking, you know, in this day and age where we are bombarded on a daily basis act. on TV, on social media, by videos, by propaganda, mm. by uh, you know, uh, listicles, mm. all kinds of things, all the time on your phone, on your TV, on your radio, everywhere it's there. You know, does does this kind of thing hold a lot of propaganda value? It's not a loaded question. I'm really asking. Or do you think it's still very powerful because it comes before an election and it's Bollywood, so it goes out to the masses? Obviously, it is a big problem. I think all, all propaganda is a big problem, Shiv. I mm. think whether it comes in a small form or a bigger form, it is all a problem because it is constantly trying to politicize and constantly trying to influence the public's opinion. Now, we are talking about a mass medium here. We are talking about Bollywood. We are talking about a movie which is going to have a grand release. We are talking about our Prime Minister Modi who is actually loved by a lot of people. We are also talking about how it is showing only a one-sided story. Hmm. We are talking about the timing of it, which is my biggest problem. You know, if the movie comes out post the elections, fine, I understand. Freedom of speech, great. But if it is a, if, if it is a political propaganda, which is being masked by artistic ventures, that's when it becomes a problem. I can't believe we haven't even spared Bollywood in order to ask for votes. No, that is preposterous. The, and the fact that we are not owning <laughs> up to it. And the rags to riches story. Who, who, who is telling this story? Why, how, how do I know what Modi ji said when he was 10 years old to his classmate? Hmm. Whose version am I listening to? I really want to know who did the narration. I really wanted to want to know who wrote. I really want to know who was consulted. Because this is completely biased, which hmm. all biopics are. But the timing yeah. of it makes it propaganda. Okay. And I, that's that's how I look at it. You know, it. see, Priya makes a very important point, Mohammed. Before I come to you, Tuhin, and you can answer that. But Mohammed, Priya makes an important point about all propaganda being bad. You know, and in this time yeah. where everything that any political party does indirectly yeah. or directly is going to be called election-related propaganda, you know, is there a measure of 
over application of rules. I'm yeah. not suggesting for a moment that we should sidestep any rules. But I'm saying when everything is propaganda anyway, is the Congress being overly defensive about this particular film? Just playing devil's advocate and asking. Shiv, Shiv, there is a reason why we have the laws that we do and so very many rules that have evolved over the course of the last 70 years and that is uh, to ensure a level playing field for all candidates mm. so that candidates who are better funded like the BJP cannot uh, abuse the system, abuse our laws and indulge in propaganda like this. There is an embargo on propaganda material under section 126 of the Representation of People's Act. Yeah. And let me tell you one more thing. Mm. Shiv, if you or any other candidate, any other individual were to make a movie like this, it would immediately be added to your electoral expenditure. Shiv, you know the cap for electoral expenditure is by and large 70 lakh rupees. Mm. This movie and its budget, if it's added to Prime Minister Modi's khata or account, electoral account as his expenditure, he would be disqualified overnight. This is what these people didn't realize while releasing the movie. And that is the crux of our challenge. And that is why Tuhin and his colleagues are desperately trying to distance themselves after the party president has inaugurated it. Oh, sorry, was it intended to inaugurate it. Devendra Fadnavis has inaugurated the first poster. And also the director is on record saying this is the fastest movie ever made. Mm. So, Bhaiya, you are no one is left in any doubts about your intentions. Okay. You brought it upon yourself with your clumsy handling of the situation. Tuhin, Tuhin, you want to respond Shibur, to both uh, uh, Priya and Mohammed on, yeah. on those points? Then I have another question for Priya. Yeah. The Congress logic is absolutely absurd when you say that uh, you know the uh, um, uh, amount spent on the movie production of the movie should be added to the candidates uh, account there has to be verifiable evidence of the fact that it, it was actually sponsored by by the candidate so I think you know this is a logically absurd argument which should not be entertained number two I can tell you for a fact that while I respect uh, you know ma'am's independent to opinion that the EC decide let me come late let me let me come late let me come late I don't interfere when you when you talk Mohammed, let him finish. Let so, him finish. I'm educating him. So now, not I can tell you for a law. fact that the Congress would have a similar, would have had a similar problem with the release of the movie had it been any other part, uh, timing of the year. Mr. Modi's life is an open book. It's a story of which inspires millions and millions of people. If, you, if, Sina, if it doesn't you are, inspire you, you that's your problem. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story of the victory to, of okay, human okay. attempts. It's a story nothing of to do with loving us. and caring yeah, for your country, which the, the elections. Is not, but your desperation do. to release it during the elections reveals your true intention. No, no, so you speak to the producer. So, so you I speak want to, to the producer. You convince the producer. I want to ask. Producer, to aapke log hai sare. To him, to him, to him. Producer, to aapke log hai. No, to him. Since time is very short now. Since time is very short. They don't hold any official position in the in the party. You know, it's it is today. Today is the 26th of March. Priya, to him and Mohammed. Today, in the 60s, में बहुत ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग कांग्रेस में यकीन करते थे अगर आपने इतनी इतनी ख़राब कांग्रेस नहीं दी होगी तो कांग्रेस में भी लोग सपोर्ट करते थे कांग्रेस को. Priya, Priya has a point to make. Priya wants to come in. Go ahead, Priya. Yeah, go ahead, Priya. I'm just saying this whole rags to riches story, the fact that we are showing only one side of the story, Modi ji himself asks us to question everything. And that's exactly what we are doing. We are questioning the motives of this film. We are questioning the propaganda layers in this film. And, and if, this was no, if this had nothing to do with political propaganda, can I say with all respect, then the movie could have waited till post-elections. The fact that you are, that that everyone is def being so defensive and being in such a mode of oh my god, this has nothing to do with political yeah. propaganda actually shows that that has everything to do with political Th you propaganda. You know that is a that that, that so is you are actually you are actually refuting your own point. That is an important yeah. point to him. That is a you know that is a you no. know a legitimately important independent <laughs> yeah. point. The me, fact that the BJP to appears to be defending the film. You know the BJP could very the well BJP have said. Boss, the हमारा BJP पिक्चर the नहीं है हमने हमने पैसा नहीं दिया है ये हमारा पिक्चर नहीं है करने दो जब भी करना है रिलीज इट बिफोर द इलेक्शन रिलीज इट आफ्टर द इलेक्शन वी हैव नथिंग टू डू विद इट बट द बीजेपी इज सीन टू बी डिफेंडिंग द एक्सप्रेशन द बीजेपी इज डिफेंडिंग द प्रोड्यूसर्स राइट टू हैव अ लेजिटिमेट रिलीज ऑफ द मूवी सो व्हाई इज द डिफेंडिंग द राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन बट वी आर नॉट डिफेंडिंग द राइट टू इंटरफेयर विद आवर इलेक्शन यू कन्विंस द प्रोड्यूसर आई वी डोंट फील दैट द टाइमिंग इज रॉन्ग इफ यू आर कन्विंस्ड दैट द टाइमिंग इज रॉन्ग यू हैव अ डायलॉग Okay, okay. I'm sure the Actually, producer is back to the commercial.
Okay, so I, I have I have a couple more questions because we're, all, we're almost out of time, and I I I want to ask Priya and Tuhin and Mohammed. All all three of you can answer this question first to you, Tuhin, which is you know today we are standing on we we're, we're sitting and discussing this on the 26th of March, uh, which means that the film is slated to release uh, in about nine days from now, if I'm not mistaken, or eight, eight days from now is when the film is going to be released. Now you've got these petitions against the film in the Bombay High Court as well as the Election Commission, so they will have to take a view. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how these uh, institutions work, but who knows? I mean, you know, uh, what they will actually rule. But is it the BJP stand to him that let let the rules be looked at, let it be scrutinized by the High Court no, no, and, sure, uh, I, and the Election Commission and let them take a view? I have made this clear. We would respect of the, uh, of the Election Commission. We would uh, respect the judgment of the courts. But personally, we feel that the movie should have a legitimate right to release irrespective of the timing. The timing is the prerogative of the production house. Okay. So the, so the BJP has taken a principled view on freedom of expression and the right of the producer to okay. put the film out at any the time they time. want. Mohammed, final comments from you. Well, it is a bit rich and ironic that the BJP is now talking about freedom of expression when they are the single largest suppressor of uh, the freedom of expression in this country. You speak against them, you're declared anti-national. You criticize them, you're declared part of a tukde tukde gang and things like that. So today when they sit here and try and act sanctimonious, no one buys it. I'll conclude by saying this, the election commission has issued notice to the makers of the movie. I'm certain that they are very good individuals in their own right. But there are laws in our country which have to be respected, which in our opinion have okay. been violated. Okay, so you're saying they've been violated. Last comment to Priya, you know, since you're, you are independent, you don't owe allegiance to either of these two parties, you're a, you're a professional, you work in the industry, you're an actor. You know, I, I, I can't help wondering, Priya, and correct me if I'm wrong, that, you know, the complaints against this movie, saying that it's propaganda, is probably going to help the movie ultimately. Because, you know, ultimately, you know, perhaps those who may benefit from it will claim that, you know, why are they trying to attack the movie? Do we have anything to hide? Are they scared about the truth coming out? So, in the end, propaganda will appear to win, Priya. Whether it's propaganda or not. Uh, see, bad publicity is still publicity. And yeah. that's exactly what is happening at the moment. Controversies are meant to popularize everything in our country. Unfortunately, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it would be great if the political parties let the election be fair, let the election be equal, let it not be biased, let the public make informed decisions. And if a movie which was talking about everything that, that went wrong in the last four and a half years, if that would not have been a problem, then this would have been fine. But I know that that would have been a problem. There would be a defamation thing happening. People would be talking that this is Congress propaganda. So half-truth is still a lie. And this movie is based on half-truths. That would be my concluding remark. Okay, that's based on just the trailer. We still don't know what's in the film, but it's the Prime Minister Narendra Modi biopic based on true events. Uh, the BJP has defended it categorically today. The view in Should general, anyone is any, any doubt as to the view in the general is that the BJP is defending or officially endorsing this movie, even though it hasn't actually said so. April 5th is when this movie is actually coming out. We'll have to see what the Bombay High Court and the Election Commission say about the petitions that are there. Thank you so much, Priya, Mohammed, Tuhin, very much for being with me here on Five Live. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.